shit. The Callisto, Callisto Protocol. Protocol. Did y'all catch that trailer? Oh, <laughs> we're about to get into the breakdown, some news, how to pre-order the game, the collector's edition, everything. Lick that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's fucking go, baby. So before we get into the trailer breakdown, I don't know how many of you have went to the actual Callisto Protocol website, but it is beautiful. I'm on the website right now. You can create a profile. You can do a lot of things in here. You can get updates. You can sign up to get updates about the game that they email you, about merch and uh, everything. So obviously I've already signed up. You see my name right there, GDX Gaming Arcade. And I just want to go over a quick, quick overview of how you can pre-order the game. And they have a collector's box edition. Trust me, I've already called GameStop. I've already tweeted at everybody on Twitter, trying to figure out how can I get my hands on one. When the game actually releases in December, I'm going to be giving away a few copies. If I can get my hand on two copies of the collector's edition, I'm actually going to do a big giveaway here before we play the game here on the channel. So before we get into the trailer breakdown, let's check this out. So as you can see, the website got the gameplay in the back is beautiful. Then if you go over here, welcome to Black Iron, it gives you the overview and synopsis of the game. Again, but in your free time or after this video, I'll put the link in the description below for you to go check out the website. It's so damn cool that they put this much detail and effort into the game. So here, if you go to pre-order, actually, so if you click on your platform, so that's another thing too. I saw a few people that was upset that it was uh, that it was last gen and next gen multi uh, platform. I guess they believe that it's going to hinder the process of the game or the progress of the game. But for me, you know, I'm a hippie. I love everybody. I want everybody to be able to experience this game. A true horror game. None of that fluffy bullshit. A true gory Dead Space style horror game by Glenn Schofield and team. So I think this is absolutely great. But anyway, you can go here. You can choose the platform. The Day One Edition, which is which it comes with just a game. The Kalisa Protocol. Retro Prisoner Character Skin. Two Retro Prisoner Weapon Skins. in a country brand pack then they have the digital deluxe edition which is the Callisto protocol the game in the prison skin again two retro prisoner weapon skins a country brand pack playstation exclusive season pass and a 40 hour advanced access to story dlc a playstation exclusive which also means they're going to have a season pass and a dlc to this game which is good news because that means they're going to continue updating the game and giving us content as we progress and beat this game uh the first week or two that i'm sure a lot of us crackheads like myself are going to do and the grand finale the big daddy of them all the Callisto protocol collector's edition that is grayed out right here i can't really see the color but i can still make out everything here i'm guessing it's sold out or it hasn't been on sale as of yet you get two retro prisoner weapon skins you get a country brand pack playstation exclusive you get a season pass you get a jacob statue as you can tell i like a lot of shit especially toys gaming toys you get a steel bookcase a tcp comic this number zero edition out of way collectible pin a ujc collectible pin and 48 hours advanced access to the story dlc give it to me now i found a color picture of it here it looks absolutely beautiful so again so going over to some more news yesterday glenn schofield tweeted out finally i've been waiting to talk about this for months i'm so excited to show our 100 percent in-game footage trailer thanks for waiting hope you enjoy it so this is what he tweeted out yesterday before the demo but before the gameplay trailer went live also thursday glenn schofield joins me live to show you first gameplay demo of the Callisto the game Callisto protocol on summer games festival so glenn schofield himself is going to be there with some more in-depth gameplay of the game i guess a game demo imagine if they give us oh my God. imagine if they give us a demo to play before the release which i don't think they're going to do that but if they did i would just Ugh. So with that being said, let's get into the trailer breakdown. So before we get started, I want to make it very clear. This is my first time ever doing a trailer breakdown of anything. I've watched this thing no lie 15, 20 times already just to make sure I'm knowledgeable and I don't miss anything. But I will miss stuff because I'm human. But if I do, just comment down below anything that you see that I miss, anything you want to talk about, Callisto Protocol or Dead Space related, just comment down below. I respond to everybody every single time. So what I'm about to show you now is some true crackhead stuff i went back and watched the original trailer just to see if i can tie the two things together and this here is the opening shot if you see here on the prison walls and i've slowed this down i see was here jc was here too so i see we don't know this character's name but this is the guy the poor bastard that got obliterated in the first trailer that we got last year 2021 jc which we know the main character we're going to be playing is jacob 
which is played by Josh Jamal. So if you look at this here, we don't know his name, but I'm assuming his name starts with an I and his cellmate possibly was Jacob. But that's something I just want to point out. Now let's go to the current trailer. So here is the opening shot of the ship. I would imagine carrying the prisoners. Again, all this is just my theories and what I think from what I've saw the last 20 times of watching this damn thing. Correction, so obviously this is a prison. The backdrop of the Jupiter moon. This is a prison like Rackers Island. They took them off to an island, AKA the moon. And this is a prison facility. A prison facility in general is gonna have, like, you know, a lunch, a lunch room, a mess hall, medicals. They're gonna have like an armory. They're gonna have bedrooms, bathrooms. So if you understand the structure of how a typical jail is laid out, it will help you kind of understand this full layout here. And it's full of creatures and aliens. So here you can see they have the prison guards standing on the, standing on the catwalk here you see the prisoner with the big orange on you got the bip and you see the ship floating in there for the, to the loading dock boom door opens so here this is definitely the watchtower again if you know the layout of a prison you know they're always going to have a big tower a big watchtower so i believe here inside the prison obviously because it can't be on the outside i mean where are you going to go if you escape they have the tower on the inside right in the middle of the prison see this big spotlight there close-up shot then you got Glenn Schofield's beautiful Did voice. You know that they call Callisto the dead moon? I didn't know that, by the way, which is just amazing. And by the way, I wanted to mention, too, that as Glenn Schofield narrates this, it seems as if he's talking from the perspective of like the warden you know how in the movies or on tv show or maybe you've been to jail hopefully not but you know when they get all the prisoners lined up just waiting to go inside the prison and the warden comes out and give them the big speech about this is what you do this is what you're not going to do this is why you're not going to run from this perspective the way glenn is talking his tone is as if we just arrived to the prison and he's giving us the talk to letting us know the shit about to hit the fan now these guys here, it's not, I was trying to look, it looked like they had ride sheer gear on from the, the shape of the head and the mask. I had to go back. He said, do you know they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. That's when he's going to go. Just like you would have been if I wanted to fish you out of that wreck. And if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So apparently Jake with the main character has gotten some shit, wrecked a car, I said wrecked a car, wrecked a spaceship, whatever happened, the character here, Glenn, is telling them is giving them the rundown of the place. Outside of this angle, it looks like it's gonna be like a dentist's office, but I can't imagine them doing veneers and teeth cleaning inside this prison, in my opinion. So this looks to be more of a torture chamber type of deal here. Either way, it looks twisted and looks like a place you do not want to be. See the shadow here? So C1 medical. So that definitely had to be prison. It's gonna have a medical section or a trauma section in case one of their officers was to get injured. So C1 medical. Your old life, you gotta let that go. So here, I think this is a double entendre. I, I can't spell that, but I just know what it means. Meaning, I know he's saying this to the character Jacob. Say, hey, you gotta let it go that you're not on Earth or wherever you came from anymore. But also, too, I think it's kind of mean that people remember him from you know Dead Space and Call of Duty Zombies, and you gotta let that shit go. He's on to a new beginning, a new wave, a new studio. But again, I'm a nerd. My brain start going. Because your oh, life boom! Is entirely wow. Stop it right there. Listen. Initially, I wasn't sure that if we was gonna have any allies, if it was just gonna be us solo dolo, as we say down here in New Orleans, walking around the ship. I, I didn't know if we had a cellmate or a friend. I didn't know if we had like one of these uh, cyborgs, bots that's gonna help us out. But apparently, not only are we facing the infected in the bio phases, I know I'm saying that wrong, but we also have to worry about these killer cyborgs as well. The odds are definitely not in our favor. And as you can tell here, these were two inmates if you see the orange suits that i guess was trying to leave inmate one inmate two entirely and that's all she wrote so we gotta stay frosty for real at the top of the stairs here right look at that look at that terror how terrifying is that low light holy shit you a chance mm-hmm okay 
we would have been dead like those frozen guys on the outside if you wouldn't have fished us out of the wreck so apparently we did something to cause a catastrophe a catastrophic wreck probably killed some people so maybe we was drunk or impaired or something was wrong that we caused a wreck he fished us out placed us in jail but now us being here a part of this experiment is a chance at rebirth I have no breakdown here. I just want to say this looks fucking terrifying. Continue. Boom. These looks to be, these poor bastards. These looks to be prison guards that got caught up in the mix. I mean, legs gone, arms gone, upside down, hanging from the top, guts hanging out. Yeah, we whipped out the baton. If you remember in the article, they said we're going to be equipped with a knife, a baton, and a, a shooting weapon. So this is one of three that we have to master in order to make it out of this shit. So this is the baton here. It looks like it has electrical circuits around it. Boom, climbing. So in this particular shot here, I noticed this yesterday. So apparently something happens. I, I'm sure we have to do like a puzzle or something that's gonna trigger water. Now it's flooding the facility. We gotta get to the high ground. But my only question is why wouldn't we just let the water fill and just float up to the top? But again, this is just me seeing what I think. This is the, the most terrifying shot of the entire trailer, in my opinion. Look at the detail on this shit. This looks to be one of the military Teflon suits that the other guards that we saw hanging earlier. They just changed the angles, what they're gonna do here. Watch here. Boom, they changed the angle to the front and this shows one of the weapons that we're gonna be able to use to defend ourselves. So you're gonna see later in the trailer, if I'm not mistaken, he's gonna have a different weapon. He's gonna have a number to show how many bullets and ammo that we have. This seems to be a different weapon. We can climb. From the naked eye, when it's going fast, it just looks like a, a like a, a plant or something. But if you look close here, this is actually a face inside this thing. Here, you see the eyes, you see the nose, you see the teeth, and it's absolutely disgusting for some of these damn creatures. Like, this. look at this. What are we gonna do with this? Like, what are we gonna do? You're just walking, you're already limping, this got bust through the windows. Look at this, this is pure fucking terror. And I love it. See, this weapon is different than the one early, and it sounds different, it seems, it seems heavier. This seems more of a Magnum style weapon, heavier. This one has a number on it indicating our ammo. Once he shoots, it goes away. I think that was the last bullet, which <laughs> we're shit out of luck. And that's the shiv weapon, that's the other knife weapon that we're gonna get, that we're gonna have to master that they mentioned as well. And this one shot, they give us the gun, they give us the knife, and they give us the baton. Boom, boom, boom. And then Glenn goes, I just love that last part. Now this here, I'm gonna do something cool in the editing. I'm gonna flip this in reverse for us to be able to really see what is getting stuck and pulls off the skin ugh, um, and comes after us while we're hanging upside down. Look at this. So this shot here. Me too, brother. So we're obviously hanging upside down, which is why we're afloat. Look at the detail. This game is uh, chef's kiss. Boom. And just eats it up. And this is another death shot here of us getting just met, just, uh, just wrecked. Every time. Boom. Boom. Shredder, watch this. We're getting stomped out. Look at this, another one. Us getting, like, in that shot, we died three times in the worst ways one could ever imagine. It was a head stomp, it was an arm pull off, and it was a head bite. Watch this. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm slowing it down. Watch this. Stomp, face, head, arm. We're done. Obliteration. The Kalisto Protocol. So thank you so much for watching me. Next week, next Thursday, I'm gonna have a big video. I'm gonna do something really cool in the front of the video. I love y'all. Sorry this took so long to come out. I tried to render it in 4K because I want y'all to see how beautiful everything is. Talk to me in the comments. I've said that a million times. <laughs> every time I watch that trailer, it gives me chills every time.